Kings, we finally arrived at the day of the appeal hearing, and I missed it in its entirety because I was sleeping. So everything you'll hear from me pertaining to the Baldo Peel is from secondhand accounts and will likely be better explained whenever Elissa Clips uploads. But here we go. To add to the majesty of today, Nick heroically defeated a 107 degree fever. He has battled the last two days to show up to his hearing. How is this possible? I hear you ask. Lend me your ear, stalker children, and I shall bequeath onto you his secrets. If we look up the severity of a 107 degree fever, we will find a wonderful medical term called hyperpyrexia. And for those like me who did not know what this is prior, hyperpyrexia is the medical term for having a fever over 106 degrees. Symptoms range from increased heart rate and rapid breathing to being rendered comatose and being rendered dead. So either Nick is a medical marvel that has a superior immune system that can defeat hyperpyrexia alongside his heat allergy or he has a shitty thermometer. I'll let you decipher this. On to the hearing. Monty's lawyer, from what I heard, had a shaky start but did eventually reel himself in. Monty was then accused of forum shopping, as his place of residence is seen as being dubious, which should be inconsequential to the defamation as it occurred in Minnesota, but who knows? Even Randazza admitted he was not up to speed on Minnesota laws, but he still gave an argument worth whatever Nick's thrown at him so far. A transcript will be made available soon, so you won't have to reference my stupid ass, and a decision will be handed down within the next three months. Assuming Nick survived having his brain cells receive a light sear from the hyperperexia, I foresee him jumping on stream tonight and declaring this yet another total baldo male victory. A little clairvoyance may be of assistance to see what he will shower onto the 200 people he will draw in tonight, per chance. Baldonautics! We have never been so fucking back! Me and Randaza went and gave Monty the cucking he deserves. It was a pure stroke of genius on my part that I told Randaza to mention that I don't even know where he really lives. He could have residence in all 50 states, including outlying islands like Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Virgin Islands. Oh, I really hope I don't have any viewers from the Virgin Islands or Virginia. And anything pertaining to Virgin is repugnant and horrifying to a man like me who has had sex multiple times with multiple women. Don't ask who they are because you prude incels wouldn't know them and they happen to be great friends with Daniel. I'd also like to thank Mandy and Judy Tester for showing up for moral support. I couldn't have done it without you. And yes, I have fully recovered from my fever. My heat allergy did not interfere with it. And I did not fucking exaggerate. I am simply the picture of perfect health capable of overcoming even the most lethal of medical outlooks. Let's go, Brandon. Why are you sharing these symptoms? What even is that word? Stop making shit up. You should all be sending super chats to ease my suffering. And Sean, I know you streamed my trial. I want my cut, you fucking thief. Only I can monetize my lawsuit. I was defamed. I'm the victim. This is my total baldo male victory. I've already won. And when I do officially win, I'm going to call all the judges niggers for even allowing this to touch their desks instead of outright awards me the dismissal this deserves and then I will make Alyssa and Pepsi man pay me reparations for the damage they've inflicted upon our wife the bulls and myself on not just emotional levels but physical psychological and ego levels the Karen farmers will rue the day they turned against me the wine moms will return and beg for leniency for not having believed in my truth for my truth is above all others the deadly gangster A-logs will finally stop gangsterizing me and remove all the Frankenstein controls from my home.